you've got the CISSP. You yeah. did it before the five years, I think. And, yeah, I did do yeah. it before the five years. People did tell me, um, you, know, you know, do the Security Plus and then a few years later, do the CISSP. And I thought, well, they look pretty similar. Why don't I just do the CISSP straight away? And I was, you know, I was 19. I had uh, maybe three months of cybersecurity experience. And I thought, oh, oh wow. 19, 21, sorry. It was a while ago. Um, th- 21, and I had like, you know, three months of experience. And I thought, yeah, no, what? Well, like, here we go. You know what I mean? So I did the self study, no boot camps. I did, went on Cybery, watched a lot of videos by uh, Kelly, I think, Han- Hannison. She was really good. Um, and just kind of taught myself everything. And then went into an interview, an interview, uh, the exam, Pearson uh, View. And I passed, which was crazy. I nice. actually, I actually thought I was going to fail. Um, I was like, remember when I had a hand admit because you do the exam and they hand you the letter straight away and it tells you whether you pass or fail. You don't have to wait like OSCP. Yeah. Um, and I was like completely shitting myself. I was like, I actually did it on Boxing Day, so the day after Christmas. So I've been spending like my entire Christmas break of work, like studying all the way through through Christmas Day. The next day I did it. And I passed. I was like, thank God. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that must have been. Like, the exam is so expensive as well. Like, if you fail, you had to pay the pay the full one, amount. 1000 or something. Well, again. it's, it's 700 US dollars, but in Australia, we have GST, goods and services tax, so it's plus 10%. So it's 770 US dollars. And because the exchange rate is quite low, it was like 1200 Australian dollars yeah. for me to do it. Um, which is crazy because, you know, in 2012, one Australian dollar was equal to one US dollar, but now it's like. 70 cents for the dollar uh, but yeah if you fail you pay the full 1200 dollars again um, i actually did something called skill set i think it was called so i did like six thousand practice multiple choice questions or something like that and i had to get 90 percent and above or something like that higher and they said to me if you can do that and you fail your, your CISP exam we'll pay you for the uh the second attempt oh, so nice. some kind of platform where it was like you know, you pay us a hundred bucks for training, or hundred dollars for the course, or two hundred dollars for the course, or whatever it was. You know, if you meet all this criteria and you fail the CISP, we'll pay for the second one. So I was like, great, because in my mind I was like, you know, at the time that I did the exam, my work was said they said um, we will pay for you to do the CISP, but we'll only pay if you pass. And so I thought, okay, if I fail, you know, two hundred dollars at the time was like, you know, a third of my paycheck. You know, so that was a significant amount of money to me. Um, yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you got you got it early. <laughs> yeah, I got it early, uh, and then you know waited five years of well, waited four years of experience. Uh, so five years of the experience requirement minus one for a bachelor's degree is four years. So four years of experience, I now have the CISSP. Uh, so I just kind of waited and then got it. So yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Has that yeah. helped you like in your career as well? Do you think? I think that studying it early on really helped me in my role, particularly for GRC, um, as it talks a lot about risk management, governance. And it's kind of, you know, the CISSP, they often call it a mile wide and an inch deep because you kind of go to like a foundational to intermediate level of knowledge in the seven, eight or nine domains. I can't remember how many there are. So I found it really useful to understand not just about what my role is, but about how all these other um, teams like SOC analysts, engineers, um, and all these other teams are working and operating. So I thought that was really useful. 